dear sister. Yesterday I arrived in the city. I know I promised to write sooner. I wanted to. I tried. But the desert is unforgiving and re restless. I didn't have a moment to breathe. You can't even begin to imagine what it's like. The burning heat. The landscapes of fire. I applied for asylum today. The people here speak strangely. So I don't really understand what I have to do. I'm sure I will figure it out quickly. In the meantime, I try to write everything down so I don't forget how things work around here. Don't be mad at me. I will write more often from now on. If everything goes accordingly to plan, I will be able to send you money soon. And maybe you can join me. The South is not a good place for people like us anymore. I hope you're well. Kiss Eric for me. Love, your brother. What's up all you awesome people from here to there? My name is Icarus and that was your daily dose of awesome. Welcome to this game that I have been having sit on my computer for quite a while now. I don't remember what it was all about, but that was quite the intro. I can't run, but it's very dark. And if that has anything to do with it, it seems like this family, go home. I don't want to go home. Home seems very depressing. It seems like it's this family, this brother-sister relationship that just has issues. What are you? Hi, are you some sort of alien? Or a monster that I should be afraid of? Are you a gobbledygook? Okay. Okay, Brandon. Bruce. Frederator. Was there another one standing right there? Oh my god, there was. Hello? What are you doing to me? Game? Game's unresponsive? Hello? It crashed. Welcome to North, everybody. <laughs> I got it to work, okay? It didn't completely crash. I waited for it to respond. So when it did respond, that was the result. Great. Look at... What is this? What is this disgustingness that I'm looking at? I can't understand you. Friend. Oh, there's another one over here freaking out. Hi. Can can we talk, please? What is the meaning of existence? Are you going to jump off? Do it. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Just kidding. Don't do it. I, I mean, does it really matter? I don't even know what you are. I don't even care about your existence. I'm sorry, but you're just freaking weird. Look, I know I'm being a dick, but you guys just suck. You scared the crap out of me. Do you feel bad? You will. Wow. A lot of crosses here. Starting to get the theme of drugs and death. Maybe? I don't know. I only say that because I picked up some medicine and had some pills. I don't even know what they were. They weren't prescribed to me. I don't know. Enter the mines, and suddenly things kick off really good and really loud and stuff. I have hearts? Game has changed completely all of a sudden? I'm dying? From something. Activate the jackhammer. Sweet. Did it. What is my objective? Um. I don't even know. Hello? Please, somebody explain my existence before I die in these next five seconds. Quickly. And loading. I died. Great. That's probably what all these crosses were. Everybody had heart attacks and just died. What is that thing? What are you? Oh. 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 Ah. Uh. 
Yeah, so pretty sure I have to give that rock to the thingy to do the thingy. Yep. Well, gotta go to get to, to do the thing to get the thing to get to the thing back to the thing. Yep, the door's there. The door's there. The door. Oh! That scared me a little. I didn't realize I was gonna give me my health back. Woohoo! Made it! I got out over there with the blue stone. If I give the blue stone to the blue man, then he becomes blue. Abu di abu da. Where is he? Hello. Are you over there in the red fields? Yes, you are. Hello, blue man. I got the blue stone for you. I'm blue. Abu di da da. Everything is blue. Abu di ba da ba da ba da. Why? Why can't I feed you anymore? Hello. Why I no feed you? I get this feeling like I have to go back and get the other stone too. Right. Let's get on that. Let's get right into the objectives. Ah, <sighs> so we go to work, we come back, and we go to sleep, and we- Whoa, that's freaking freaky in the bottom left of that. That is not okay. That freaks me out a little bit. No, I don't like that picture. You can't make me look at that one again. I won't do it. That's a little creepy as well. All of these pictures are creepy. This is like the- most weird part of this. What the f- Oh. It's a caution sign. Yay. A poison caution sign. I don't understand that. It doesn't s I think the message that this game is trying to say is that there's repetition in what we do. There's repetition in life. Repetition in what- Where are you, mate? Did you jump? Hello, darkness, my old friend. I think he jumped. What do you think, Mr. I stand there looking at the wall and questioning my own existence? I think that's exactly what he did. I didn't actually mean for you to do it, pal. You didn't have to. Well, I could sit here going back and forth between everything for the rest of eternity, but it doesn't seem like there's anything else for me to do and that mini game is too difficult for me to figure it out because it doesn't give me enough time to do anything so I'm just gonna take it with my own artistic view and believe that the game is trying to say that no matter how much you push life is a repetition of itself and it goes back and forth between work and home and it can only get worse from there it's, I feel like that's what it's supposed to be and that these alien looking things are supposed to be the decrepitness of a life that has long sought and been terrorized by that pattern. That's my own view of it, but I it's an artistic standpoint, so it could totally be the opposite of that or something else. So it doesn't even matter, don't take my, don't take my point of view for you know, as a solid, solid point. That's what I'm trying to say. But nonetheless, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and if you have, don't forget to shoot that like button to keep it awesome. Stay awesome, because you are awesome, and I'll catch you in the next one. Later. Later.